this is Megan with Thousand Generation Farms. It's Friday evening, early evening. Kind of pumped because it's just beautiful outside. Um, but right now we are actually going to hook up the tractor and auger to the bin. And we have the bin running, so that's a good sign too. But um, we're gonna be having some corn hauled here, hopefully in the next week or two. So we're gonna get all that set up. So won't you come farming with us? Goats and cow are fed, steer are fed. This is the bin that we're going to be hooking the auger up to. So chores are done, tractor is running down there. We're actually gonna go check the chickens quick. For anyone who has been keeping up or not been keeping up, we have one chicken and one rooster left. We need to order some more, but Man, that rooster looks kind of shiny. I wonder what he's been doing. But we got food, so they're good. Hi, girls and male. <laughs> it's crazy that it's almost spring, but I'm so pumped. Sometimes the winter just drags, but I'm thankful for the moisture we got. Basically, if you guys don't know what's going on here, this is the auger. What we're doing now, there's a hopper here that will fold out. We'll hook it up right here on the bin. Put the, hop the hopper underneath. Is that right? I'm trying to decide if that's right. I think that's right. Make sure the hopper's under here. And basically what it does, the auger will suck it, suck the corn back up here. You park the straight truck, the semi, whatever you got to haul your corn, 
or crop under the chute and this will drop the corn or whatever commodity you got into the vehicle and then you just fill it you can pull your truck back and forth to make sure it's weighing correctly and then you take it into the elevator or wherever you're selling it um, during harvest it's kind of the back it's kind of backwards so you park your gravity wagon here put your hopper here you bring the corn to the gravity wagon from your combine or your grain cart the corn drains comes out of the gravity wagon into the hopper and then it kind of does the same thing it sucks the corn up and puts it in your bin up there at the top and then you store your corn in your bin or your beans or whatever you got so what he's doing and I don't know how he knows how to do this he's just done it so many times He's trying to get positioned correctly um, to put that hopper in the right spot so we don't lose any corn on the ground, which is very easy to do. you guys can see the hoppers going down then what he'll do is he'll unhook that wire which basically just helps suspend it when you store it that's funny so now he's gonna so now he's gonna swing it over see if I can get out of the way quick enough <laughs> One of the biggest factors in this is just spring in Nebraska is pretty muddy. So like you can see right here, the ground's kind of muddy, but it's, it's harder, so it's not horrible. But like when you bring a semi in here, like if it was a little bit more wet on the ground, it's just, it's kind of just a mess. We were just talking about how it'd be nice if this thing was pointed the opposite way, if the chute was, because then the truck wouldn't have to get so muddy, but it just doesn't work out that way because we don't have a ton of space over here, so we're just gonna do it this way, but. <laughs> it's a little short. So we didn't get the hopper close enough, as you can tell. That's probably my fault. So Justin's gonna try to just inch it over there a little bit. We'll see how this works. Just gotta hook it back up. I think we need to have some kind of marker so we know where we need to park. <laughs> well, we got it all hooked up. We turned the hopper on, um, or no, not the hopper. We turned the output auger on and looks good. Joseph went to get a four-wheeler. I'm not 100% sure why. I don't know if he's gonna hook it up to the auger maybe I don't know why anyways so I think we should be all set all right so you guys see it it's all good he's got the jack down I don't know does he no nope, the truck's still hooked up but um basically done so we'll call that a win for a Friday evening now time for some bar food maybe <laughs>